It's the mindset. Free your mind. Free your mind. Mindset. Free your mind. Free your mind. Hey, not everything that glitter is gold. Not everything that's white is snow. On the mindset, I just start. Let them know. Let them know. Let them know. Oh, words from the wise. I just start. We will never lie. Stand tall, we will never die, we'll forever shine. I the star, shine like the star in the sky. Some hate, some love. Yeah, I tell you that are the meditation, brother. We can't abide, friend. That's what we are doing. Marcus, if we build with one and we keep taking the money and buying another, we need everybody approved, and so we are spending the money everywhere else but for ourselves. Understand? So that is it. Rest every brand all. out there, every brand that our people wear, Gucci, Louis, Prado, we then call them go right down, H and M, Aine, King, Guinness, all of them disrespect we. All of them put out racist commercial. All of them don't like we, all of them. But at them we wear, very, very, they are we at them they we wear, you know, brother. If we check all these names, none of them have an African face. <laughs> none of them have no African face, brother. The, the Louis Vuitton, the, 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 the whatsoever you want to call them, the, the Ray Ray, the Fergamo, the, you can Google every one of them face. Yes, Bobo. Yeah, reality. The Ferrari, the Lamborghini, the Ray, none of them have African face. <laughs> so where is that the only African face at Oprah and Bolt? I run them have to run for and fight for. None, none, none of our support. None of we have no Bolt chain for our neck. Real. We never have a ring for shirt where we are wear. We, f- we never wear Bob Marley. Like that. The rest of our... uh, so, dread. That's that's where it is, my lad. It is where we have to get back to Marcus Gami, my lad. Yes, sir. We have to build with own and support with own, my lad. Understand? Look for an herb fest in Canada. A one million people. Look for herb fest in Jamaica. You don't have 5,000 people that come out. Mm-hmm. For real. See, so yeah, we have to, you see the difference, my brother? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. So if we not support with one, then we expect another to support with. You have to first support with one, brother. You understand? Rastafari. That's so, the thing, them on. That's the thing, them, my brother. I mean, look how much, look how much we love Vibes Cartel and we don't make Vibes Cartel sell 3 million record. Come on now, that not look good. If we love Vibes Cartel so much, let's go to iTunes and make him thing look good. Make it, say, yeah. You For understand? Real. For real. So, <laughs> the, so this is this is the thing. Look, see how much Canada by Drake. Drake is the biggest money maker in Canada. Right now. Yeah, man. The biggest money maker. If you put Drake in a Google, is the most searched name in Canada. <laughs> Yes, I. So, oh, we love Vibes Cartel so much. And we don't make him sell a million. When he put out a song, he sell a million copies instantly. Because all of us go buy it, we don't spend 99 cents. Yeah, that's what it costs for your song, 99 cents. Uh, yeah. And not even that we want to support the brother with. And if we okay, we say we love him. So this is how we stay. It's not, it's not about from the Rasta community here from that community or from a culture. It's just, oh, it, it, we have to get our people mindset to be different from all the communities of our nation. True, true. Yes, I, I understand. And that's why I and I talk about Vibes Cartel, because it's not a Rasta we are talking about. We can say, well, it's not Rasta supporting yeah, yeah. We're talking about a, a man from the street. Yeah, man. That the real. whole street will say, this is the God of the street. But then, where is that? And the street have so much money to buy all kind of things. When you go to a dance and see a man buy NSC and buy champagne and kind of car man drive and that 99 cents you wouldn't spend with Vibes Cartel. <laughs> all right. You know, so we're out at, we're out at time, you know, Bobo. Bo, yeah, man. So give thanks, man. Give yeah. thanks to the moment, my brother. <laughs> Yes, I. Yeah, man. We give thanks. We give thanks for having the hype on the program, my lad. So that's I you know. Yeah, man. You know? Rastafari, I love, man. And give thanks. Look out for the new album, King in My Castle, coming out, you know. Yeah, it's like it come out end of June. So, 1st of July. Better for you. 
Rastafari, yes I. Yes, and they are, yes, they, are, um, they are speak about putting it first on the vinyl. What are they, um, you know, the meditation behind that? The vinyl are, are, are really a yeah. comeback. Yeah, man, the vinyl, the vinyl where I come from with it first. I say, if you, if you, if you listen to the new song I'm saying, I'm sick of the dub dub in tonight. You, know? you understand? I'm sick of the vinyl playing at the square. That's what I'm saying on the song. That's the far right. Yeah, because we are trying to put back that forward, that market. Because I want to tell you something, vinyl is the biggest selling thing in music right now. It's just that I eat my music, I use it. Hmm. No EDMI song sell on a CD. And you can check it out. And they must sell 30 million, 40 million. For real. And none of them, none of them is sold on a CD. They are sold on vinyl. And vinyl. So there is no CD right now that's selling 30 million, but there's vinyl right now selling 25 million, 30 million, 15 million. Rasta God. So, all right, before we go, Bobo, your fee say we as a people, we haven't done enough to really have more control over our music because we create this journey, you know. And there I speak about Vibes Cartel a while ago. A man will spend even 99p. Your fee say we haven't done enough to have more control over the music that other people kind of have more control mm. over it. We don't we don't support we don't support so true we don't support what else what other choice would you give your son right now if he's an entertainer coming out with a good album and he can't get no support from his own community he have to go to another community true true and that's where the, that's where the problem is so ninety percent of our control and our and the next problem is many people don't realize and I can say it. This is something I want to ask the Prime Minister publicly. How can we have a country like Jamaica that creates such a powerful music and you can't even register iTunes in Jamaica? You can't register PayPal in Jamaica. You can't register Spotify in Jamaica. Which one of the music social media that today the digital music media streaming is the number one thing in music. What can you register from the island of Jamaica? Serious. So this is something you have to look about. You can't do a Vivo account from Jamaica. It has to do from the US. A Spotify has to do from the US or from another country, not Jamaica. Because we don't have a satellite. Hmm. We don't have a dot JA. We have dot com. Every email in Jamaica go to America and Alan before it gets to Jamaica. Yes. So this is these are the reality, brother. And if we talk about we, have, we can't talk about culture without reality. Culture is not just history. Study your few, study your past to know your future. Yeah, man. You don't just study your past to talk about it. You have to look at your reality, the prospect of reality. You understand? And that is the prospect of the reality of the business in Jamaica. If you cannot really start Spotify in Jamaica, then what what chance you have but to Give give your music to somebody overseas that you can at least get some percentage out of your music. Yeah, because it's funny you said that. Um, Vice Cartel, the other day, I mean, did I read Vice Cartel? Um, is still the leading um, reggae and dancehall artist streaming on, on, on all platforms right now. Mm-hmm. You know? And already started, already started an account. It have to be overseas, man, as they said. Then that may I try to tell you. So how much percentage is Vibes Cartel sacrificing just to make sure that he can be streamed? Yeah, man. And how much percent the country itself losing as well? That's what I'm trying to say. So look look at it, you know. Look, look at all that revenue. Yeah, man. You could, you, you could have employment. You could have... You understand? Yeah, this man. is the new age, you know. This is the new age. We're not talking about 20 years ago. We're talking about that's where music is now. Streaming. Streaming. And if, if you're living in a country that has such a powerful, one of the world's top five music come from Jamaica, and you can't register nothing in Jamaica, then oh, you're going to have ownership of your stuff. But even you, Desco, um. Um, take reggae and uh, and and that string as a as, as a as world a... As, a, as a part of the tourist yeah benefit. But 
reggae is a national tourist music in Hawaii, Thailand, many islands. But it is not registered, it is not known. Look. So I'm trying to tell you, we don't have nothing, we don't have nothing powerful to defend the rights for us, my brother. And that's why we don't have control of our stuff. Rastafari. And <laughs> yeah. you know, the eye more cause a several a several questions I may have for the eye about through the time kinda. But the management give a little leeway. Me, the only time I really see the eye perform in a Jamaica is is, is on a rebel salute and a song fest. Why the, the lack of other shows in, in a upon the island? Because to stay in Jamaica and do shows in Jamaica, I used to sacrifice a lot. You understand? That means eh, I used to turn on a lot of shows. A lot of shows. So when, when I start to look at where the music is and what's going on in Jamaica, I see police start to come and turn off the music. You have a show go on, then curfew the show, you know who I get to pick up. So all of this start to make me look at the music like, this is a joke, man. How can you live in a reggae country? And this is the number one thing. Crime is the number one thing. And you tell me, say, the only part of fun is that bring crime. Music. How oh, music bring crime? Hmm. Not gangsters, not gun, not wicked politicians, not injustice, not lack of resources, not youth in the ghetto with no opportunity. None of that is the problem. It's two things is the problem. Traffic man and music. So you have millions of police around now. Every car man and not lack of every dance. So it... The result, the, the result, crime get higher. So I realize, okay, it's time now for the stay on track and keep focusing on me youth them and focus on Jamishan. So I spend the time to go into other market, China. You understand? But the only other artist I hear before I go to China before me was Daddy Freddy. Yes, I. You understand? So I went to China and I, no, I mean, I go to China every year because it's been growing. So reggae is growing. India, I go to India, it's growing. So I realized that I have to, uh, there's many places that I have to go. There's many places that reggae need to, to, to get a pioneer to go there, to break down the understanding, to get yes. these people into the music. Yes. You understand? So that's why I started to take on this mission. mission. I went to Papua New Guinea. I went to New Caledonia. I've been to some places that no other reggae artist ever been. Because I spend the time now to focus on that. Than just focus on the shows in Jamaica. And I get a lot of calls. I just get a call from for me eight. I'm already booked out. So ninety percent of the time when a Jamaican promote a call. Because the thing about the international market now, as you know, a festival for next year, January, already call you now. Yeah, man. You understand? And we in Jamaica do different. So you find a man calling in a March, close to April, ask you about a show in May. This is how Jamaican promoter move. Hmm. But May, my May was already booked from last year. Yes, sir. <laughs> Overseas promoter. Yes, me already book out Sunfest is Sunfest. Me already book out the whole of July. So me not available no, no Sunfest time. Me not available the few shows we are going, me not available those time. You understand? Me, me cancel three shows just to do Rebel Salute now. Mm-mm. Ah, oh, Bobo. See, as I explained to Winford Williams, that is not like me out there, then I say, well, you know, say, me not doing nothing, so me get me need for the yard. No, me have to break sometime to try record a few songs. Me have to take a break sometime to get record two songs. Yeah, I probably get two months out of the year break, don't it? That is it, my brother. You understand? That is it, because it's, it's, it's non stop. Yeah, man. Because if I come to London and do a show for you, know, and the show nice and the show work out, and we do the show September 1st, why we don't want to do it next year? True. Yeah, I said to you, I'm going to make it happen for real. 
Yeah, we start set up, make it happen. When the show is done, a promoter already talked to you. But I'm telling you more about the festival next year. Or, see my Virginia come to talk to him about the festival. So this is how festival promoters, when Reggae Jam done, three weeks after Reggae Jam done, Reggae Jam start to advertise the next year. Yeah, man. So this this is how we international promoters, them plan them thing nine months, 12 months, 10 months ahead. Well in advance. Yeah. So this is the reason. So it's, it, got, it got nothing to do with like, you understand? It, it's no complaint. It's nothing. I love Jamaica, man. I love Profama Jamaica, man. Profama Jamaica, anytime I get called for, man, and I'm available. So may I try to start back my show January 1st, two years straight. I'll try to start it back. I may end up, can't start it. Coming out of the time. We need to Jamaica at least three, three months out of the year to get the show promoted the way I want Properly, it. Yes. You understand? If you're not there and you're not spending your money, every man asks, so where DJ there? But I want it. So it's like you're still. So that's why I may even stop my show. Yes, because sometimes you have, you have to cancel 10, 15 show in order to find the time to go and promote your show, get your show the right way. You yourself have to go to the artist them and make sure. You understand? Every man says, don't be up on the DJ show, but they see the man star. Very, very, very. So, man, you know, so it, it takes so much yeah, to man. get. You understand? To be that promoter on that side of the thing. So that's why I said, no, I have. It, it, it takes too much from my career. Yes, I. Yes, I. You understand? So that's why you know, see me in gym, but I'm planning that, man. It's my plan to put up my album this year. My plan to say, yeah, I'm going to Jamaica. I'm going to Jamaica with you for like a month, for the longest. You understand? And I just jump me, jump me song as me reach and start promote it. And, and now I'm on the road again. So that's us see I know. Yeah, man. You understand? So, yeah, man, bless up and you done know me give thanks to all my Jamaican around the world, man. Keep working because the thing, what I always tell everybody about Jamaica, you know, what I'm proud about Jamaica is that Jamaican, we don't sit down and depend upon a system to survive. You understand? We don't know about the social welfare. We don't know welfare check. We don't have that. You understand the government office there where you can go to and get employment benefits and where you can get housing benefits and we don't know about that. <laughs> Jamaica knows that we go somewhere and go look with food and mama don't yard and we send back a thing I help build up the house. One money we start on one room and then we put on a second room and put on a third room and everything look good, we go upstairs. Yes. You understand? This is how we know it. it is we don't really know about the mortgage and the and the and and, 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 and the what they call it good credit. Yeah, in a Jamaica, Mr. Credit paint up on a shop with a rope around the neck. <laughs> Good credit, yes, I. <laughs> yes, yes, then so. You know that's something. When you go in a shop, them show you say, Mr. Credit dead. See if they paint them painting with a rope. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> Mr. Credit. So, Jamaica is not the culture we know about. Go borrow money and build a house yeah, and pay and back and pay a mortgage and month time. And when you say mortgage to Jamaica, you know, you ask you, where you are. <laughs> I understand? A, a cash and deal with man deal it. So this is what I'm proud of that we come from a culture like this where we're not back down of going to look our own and yes, find sir. that independent life and we don't grow up depending on mama and papa. So you know it's something. Go. Yes, sir. You understand? So it make it, sometimes make we look like we we're violent or we arrogant or we angry and no, but I just always stay. When we out there push it off, we are push it off. Anything we are doing, we are doing it with strength Serious. and ability and the best we can do. Yeah, man. Yes, I. For real. Yeah, man. That's the far right, man. Yes, Baba. Leave it. We give thanks, you know, my lad. Yeah, man. We really give yeah. thanks, yeah. you know. Yeah, man. We give thanks in the moment, man. And all the queen and all the empress and everyone we tune in. Give thanks to your ears and your listening ears and keep on supporting the mission. And music and sports is our greatest achievement, so. I tell the parents them to fight your kids if they must say they want to look around in and play some ball. Help them. Don't tell them say they have been a liar and a doctor and this because enough of them things that we go through. And we can say, you have to look at our reality. 90% of our success comes from music and sports. Yes, sir. Reality that. So if, so if you see your son a kick two balls, but you encourage him, man. Throw the ball at him, man. Help him. Motivate him, man. Because that's where a lot of we go wrong. You understand? Yes, sir. So, motivate each other, man, and support each other, man. 
I understand it's easier in our amongst our people to say, yo, I'm no good man, than to say, let me see where my uncle can do. Where am I? Let me go see where I'm up there. Yeah, man. Not sure. Man, I don't know my name. Yo, come off of the stage, man. I don't know my name. No, man. I don't know my name. You understand? I don't know my name, Ray and Ray, but listen to me, man. You never know, man. Give him a chance. Give him a chance, my brother. Because that's the hardest thing, man. Opportunity, a budget, say, man. Opportunity, a scarce, scarce commodity, man. True, true. And this time I say, Papa. So we are telling you, them, man, to the kids, them out there for the listening. Don't waste no time when you get the opportunity. Your age and your time, make use of it. Is what you plan today, you reap tomorrow. So you don't know. You may say, give thanks, man. Give thanks for everything, man. Rastafari, I give thanks at this moment, you know. Yes, my lord. Yeah, man. I'm all over and strength, Bobo. And you know, all guidance and protection upon the back of field, you know.